The American alligator is a large reptile native to the southeastern United States. It is one of two species of alligator, the other being the Chinese alligator. American alligators are known for their distinctive appearance, with a broad, rounded snout, dark coloration, and armored scales on their body. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the American alligator. Adult American alligators can grow to impressive sizes, with males typically reaching lengths of 10 to 15 feet, and sometimes even larger. Females are generally smaller with lengths of around 8 to 10 feet. These alligators inhabit freshwater environments, including swamps, marshes, rivers, lakes, and ponds, primarily in the southeastern United States, including Florida, Louisiana, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, and parts of Texas and the Carolinas. American alligators are carnivorous and feed on a variety of prey, including fish, turtles, birds, and mammals. They are opportunistic hunters and often lie in wait for prey near the water's edge. These alligators are cold-blooded reptiles, which means their body temperature is regulated by their environment. They are known for basking in the sun to warm up and regulate their body temperature. They are also known to be territorial and can be quite aggressive if their territory is invaded. American alligators reproduce through internal fertilization. Mating typically occurs in the spring, and females lay eggs in nests made of vegetation. The mother guards the nest, and after about 65 days, the eggs hatch, and she helps the young alligators reach the water. The sex of the hatchlings is determined by the temperature at which the eggs are incubated. American alligators were once endangered, but have made a remarkable recovery thanks to conservation efforts and legal protections. They are now listed as a species of least concern by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. However, they are still protected by laws and regulations in the United States to ensure their continued survival. American alligators are important to the ecosystems they inhabit, and they play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of aquatic ecosystems. They are also iconic symbols of the southeastern United States, and are often associated with swamps and bays in the region. The Nile crocodile is a large, aquatic reptile native to sub-Saharan Africa. It is one of the most well-known and widely distributed crocodile species in Africa and is known for its formidable size aggression and adaptability to a variety of aquatic habitats. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Nile crocodile. Nile crocodiles are among the largest crocodile species in the world. Adult males can reach lengths of up to 16 to 20 feet, while females are generally smaller with an average length of 10 to 13 feet. These crocodiles are found in a range of aquatic environments, including rivers, lakes, swamps, and estuaries throughout sub-Saharan Africa. They are highly adaptable and can thrive in both freshwater and brackish water. Now crocodiles are carnivorous and are opportunistic predators. They feed on a variety of prey, including fish, birds, mammals, and other reptiles. They are known for their ability to take down large prey, and they often lie in wait near the water's edge to ambush animals that come to drink or swim. Now crocodiles are known for their aggressive nature, and are responsible for a significant number of attacks on humans in their range. They are skilled swimmers and can move quickly both in the water and on land. They are also known for their powerful jaws and a bite force among the strongest in the animal kingdom. These crocodiles reproduce through internal fertilization. Mating typically occurs during the dry season when water levels are lower. Females lay their eggs in nests constructed from vegetation near the water's edge. After about 80 to 90 days of incubation, the eggs hatch, and the female may assist her young in reaching the water. While the Nile crocodile is not currently considered endangered, it is subject to hunting and habitat loss in some parts of its range. In regions where it comes into contact with human populations, conflicts can occur due to its aggressive nature and potential threat to livestock and humans. Now crocodiles are apex predators in their ecosystems and play a vital role in maintaining the balance of aquatic food chains. They are an important part of the African wildlife landscape and are both revered and feared by local communities. In some areas, efforts are made to manage and conserve Nile crocodile populations to minimize conflicts with humans while ensuring the species' survival. The Komodo dragon is a large and iconic species of lizard, known for its impressive size, powerful bite, and unique distribution. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons are the largest living lizards on Earth. Adult males typically reach lengths of 8 to 10 feet and can weigh up to 150 pounds, although there have been reports of individuals reaching even greater sizes. These reptiles are native to a few Indonesian islands, including Komodo Rinka floors and a few smaller islands in the Lesser Sunda Archipelago. They primarily inhabit tropical forests, savannas, and open grasslands. Komodo dragons are carnivorous apex predators. They have a highly varied diet, including mammals, birds, and other reptiles. They are known for their ability to take down large prey, and they are opportunistic scavengers as well. Komodo dragons are known for their slow and deliberate movements. They have a keen sense of smell and are capable of detecting the scent of dead. 
or decaying animals from several miles away. They are also excellent swimmers and climbers. Komodo dragons possess venomous glands in their lower jaw, which are a unique feature among lizards. When they bite their prey, the venom along with a mix of bacteria from their mouth can cause a slow and agonizing death for the prey. They typically track and wait for their prey to succumb before consuming it. These lizards reproduce through sexual reproduction, laying eggs. After a gestation period of around 8 months, females lay clutches of 15-30 eggs in nests they dig in the ground. After about 7-8 months, the eggs hatch, and the young Komodo dragons are on their own. Komodo dragons are listed as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Their populations are threatened by habitat loss, poaching, and potential effects of climate change. Conservation efforts are in place to protect these reptiles and their habitats. Komodo dragons are a significant draw for tourism in the Indonesian islands where they are found. Tourists visit dedicated national parks and reserves to observe these unique and ancient creatures in the wild. The Komodo dragon's combination of size, strength, and venomous bite has earned it a reputation as a formidable predator. They are considered a living relic from prehistoric times and are often referred to as a dragon student due to dragon-like appearance and behavior. The green iguana, scientifically known as Iguana iguana, is a large, arboreal lizard native to Central and South America, as well as some Caribbean islands. It is one of the most well-known and widely recognized species of iguana. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the green iguana. Green iguanas are known for their striking green coloration. Although their color can vary depending on factors like age and environment, Younger individuals are often bright green while adults may develop shades of green, gray, or brown. They have a long body, a long, slender tail, and a row of spines running down their back. These iguanas are one of the largest lizard species in the Americas. Adult green iguanas typically measure between 4 to 6 feet in length, including their tail. Males tend to be larger than females. Green iguanas are primarily arboreal, which means they live in trees and are well adapted to climbing. They inhabit a range of environments, including tropical rainforests, savannas, and coastal areas. They are often found near water sources. Green iguanas are primarily herbivorous, feeding on a date of leaves, flowers, fruits, and other plant matter. They are known for their efficient digestive system, which allows them to break down tough plant materials. These iguanas are diurnal, meaning they are active during the day. They are solitary animals and are territorial, often defending their feeding in basking areas. When threatened, they can use their sharp claws and strong tails as defensive weapons. Green iguanas reproduce through sexual reproduction. Males engage in territorial and courtship displays to attract females. After mating, females lay clutches of eggs and burrows they dig in the soil. The eggs hatch after about 10-15 weeks depending on temperature and humidity. Hatchlings are independent from birth. While the green iguana is not currently listed as an endangered species, it faces various threats, including habitat destruction and illegal pet trade. In some regions, they are hunted for their meat and skins. Conservation efforts are in place in some areas to protect these iguanas and their habitats. Green iguanas are sometimes kept as pets, but they require specialized care in a spacious enclosure. Potential owners should be aware that they can grow quite large and have specific dietary and habitat requirements. Green iguanas are fascinating reptiles with their distinctive appearance and behaviors. They are a significant part of the ecosystems in which they live, helping to disperse seeds and control plant growth through their herbivorous diet. The ball python, also known as the royal python, is a small to medium-sized snake species native to West and West Central Africa. It is one of the most popular snake species in the pet trade, due to its manageable size, the saw nature, and attractive appearance. Here are some key characteristics and facts about ball pythons. Ball pythons are relatively small among python species. They typically grow to lengths of 3 to 5 feet, although some individuals may reach slightly larger sizes. These snakes are known for their beautiful and variable coloration. They have a pattern of light and dark markings on a background color that can range from tan and brown to black. Ball pythons get their name from their tendency to curl into a tight ball when stressed or threatened, tucking their head inside to protect it. In the wild, ball pythons are found in various habitats, including grasslands, savannas, and forested areas. They are often associated with termite mounds, where they may seek shelter. Ball pythons are carnivorous and feed primarily on small mammals, such as rodents. In captivity, they are typically fed a diet of pre-killed or frozen wild rodents. Wild pythons are generally known for their calm and, and docile temperament. They are not aggressive snakes and are often favored by snake enthusiasts and reptile keepers for their ease of handling. When threatened, they may coil into a defensive ball, which is where their common name comes from. Wild pythons are known for their interesting breeding behavior. In the wild, they may lay their eggs in termite mounds, where the heat generated by the termites helps incubate the eggs. In captivity, breeders often use controlled environments to mimic these conditions. 
Ball pythons are known for their small clutch sizes compared to some other snake species. While ball pythons are not considered endangered, they do face habitat loss and some collection pressures due to the pet trade. Conservation efforts are in place in some regions to monitor and protect wild populations. Ball pythons are a popular choice as pet snakes, especially for beginners. Their relatively small size, gentle temperament, and manageable care requirements make them a good choice for those new to snake ownership. However, it's important for potential owners to do their research and be prepared for the long-term commitment of caring for a pet snake. Ball pythons are fascinating reptiles with their striking appearance and mild disposition, making them a sought-after choice for snake enthusiasts and reptile keepers alike. The eastern box turtle is a small to medium-sized terrestrial turtle species native to the eastern United States. It is one of the most well-known and recognized species of box turtles, and is known for its distinctive appearance and behavior. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the eastern box turtle. Eastern box turtles have a highly domed hinged shell that allows them to retract their head, legs, and tail completely within the shell for protection. The shell typically exhibits a beautiful pattern of yellow or orange markings on a brown or black background. Their skin is usually dark with bright yellow or orange spots. These turtles are relatively small with adult individuals typically reaching lengths of 4 to 6 inches and weighing around 1 to 2 pounds. Eastern box turtles are found in a variety of habitats, including deciduous forests, grasslands meadows, and scrubby areas. They prefer habitats with a mix of open spaces and vegetation cover. They are omnivorous, meaning they have a varied diet that includes both plant matter and animal prey. Their diet may consist of insects, worms, slugs, mushrooms, fruits, and vegetation. Eastern box turtles are primarily terrestrial, but are also capable swimmers. They are known for their slow and deliberate movements. When threatened, they can retract their limbs and head into their protective shell, closing it with a hinged plastron. These turtles are known for their longevity and can live for several decades in the wild and even longer in captivity. With some individuals exceeding 100 years of age, eastern box turtles reproduce by laying eggs. Mating typically occurs in the spring and early summer. The males lay their eggs in shallow nests dug in sandy or well-drained soil. After an incubation period of about 60 to 90 days, the hatchlings emerge in late summer or early fall. Eastern box turtles are considered a species of concern in some regions due to habitat loss, rude mortality, and collection for the pet trade. Efforts are underway to better understand and protect their populations. While some people keep eastern box turtles as pets, it's essential to note that they have specific care requirements, and in many areas, it may be illegal to collect them from the wild. Captive bred turtles are a more responsible choice for potential pet owners, and proper care should be provided to ensure their health and well-being. Eastern box turtles are treasured for their unique appearance and their role in their ecosystems. They play a crucial role in seed dispersal and insect control, making them ecologically important in their native habitats. The tutara is a unique and ancient reptile species found only in New Zealand. While it resembles a lizard, it is not actually a lizard and belongs to a distinct lineage of reptiles known as Rhynchocephalia. Tuateras are often considered living fossils because they are the last surviving members of this ancient group, which dates back to the time of the dinosaurs. Here are some key characteristics and facts about Tuateras. Tuateras have a lizard-like appearance with a slender body, scaly skin, and a crest of spines running down their back. They have distinctive, prominent eyes with a third parietal eye on the top of their head, which is sensitive to light and helps regulate their daily activities. Tuateras vary in size, with adults typically measuring between 12 to 30 inches in length, including their tail. They are usually not as large as some lizard species. Tuateras are native to New Zealand, and can be found on several offshore islands and protected reserves. They inhabit a range of environments from coastal areas to forests. These reptiles are primarily insectivorous, feeding on a diet that includes insects, spiders, and other small invertebrates. They are also known to eat small vertebrates like birds and lizards, as well as plant material. Tartarus are primarily nocturnal, meaning they are most active at night. They are solitary animals and are known for their slow movements and relatively low metabolic rate. During the day, they may hide in burrows or crevices. Tuateras have a unique reproductive system. They have separate sexes, and males engage in complex courtship rituals. Females typically lay eggs in burrows or natural crevices, and the incubation period can be quite long, often taking around 12 to 15 months. Tuateras are classified as vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Due to habitat loss, predation by introduced species, and other threats, conservation efforts in New Zealand aim to protect and restore their populations. Tartarists are often described as living fossils because they represent an ancient lineage of reptiles that dates back around 200 million years. Most of their close relatives went extinct long ago making them a biological marvel. Tartarists hold cultural significance in New Zealand 
and are considered a tongva by the indigenous Maori people. They are also the subject of scientific research to better understand their unique biology and evolutionary history. Tartarus are remarkable creatures with rich history, and they offer valuable insights into the evolution of reptiles. Their conservation is important not only for preserving the unique and ancient lineage, but also for maintaining the biodiversity of New Zealand's ecosystems. The Gila monster is a large, venomous lizard native to the southwestern United States and northwestern Mexico. It is one of the only two venomous lizard species in the world, the other being the Mexican beaded lizard. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Gila monster. Gila monsters are easily recognizable due to their distinctive appearance. They have a stocky body covered in bead-like scales, which are often banded with bright colors such as orange, pink, or yellow, contrasting with a background of black. These colors serve as a warning to potential predators of their venomous nature. Adult Gila monsters typically measure about 18 to 24 inches in length. Some individuals can be larger. These lizards are found in arid and semi-arid regions, including deserts and scrublands. They are often associated with rocky or sandy habitats. Gila monsters are primarily carnivorous, feeding on a diet of small mammals, birds, bird eggs, reptile eggs, and sometimes carrion. They have powerful jaws and a strong bite. Gila monsters possess venom glands in their lower jaw and grooved teeth at the rear of their mouth. When they bite, venom is injected into their prey or attacker. The venom is not fatal to humans but can cause severe pain, swelling, and other symptoms. It is primarily used for subduing prey and defending against predators. Gila monsters are known for their slow and deliberate movements. They are primarily terrestrial but can climb trees and shrubs when necessary. They are solitary animals and are primarily active during the daytime and cooler seasons. Gila monsters reproduce through sexual reproduction. Mating typically occurs in the spring, and females lay clutches of 2 to 12 eggs in burrows or other suitable locations. The eggs hatch several months later, and the hatchlings are fully independent. Gila monsters are a protected species in the United States, and it is illegal to capture or harm them without proper permits. They face threats from habitat destruction, road mortality, and collection for the pet trade. Gila monsters have cultural significance among some indigenous peoples in their native range and they are often featured in local folklore and traditions. Despite their venomous nature, gila monsters are generally not aggressive toward humans, and will usually only bite if provoked or handled. They play an important role in their ecosystems by helping to control populations of small mammals and birds. Their striking appearance and unique biology make them a subject of interest for researchers and reptile enthusiasts. The leatherback sea turtle is the largest and one of the most distinctive species of sea turtles. It is known for its unique physical characteristics, habitat, and behavior. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the leatherback sea turtle. Leatherback sea turtles are the largest of all sea turtle species. They can reach lengths of up to 7 feet and weigh as much as 2,000 pounds. Their size and weight can vary, but they are significantly larger than other sea turtle species. These turtles are easily recognizable by their leathery, rubbery skin, which sets them apart from other sea turtles with hard, bony shells. They lack the traditional bony plates known as scutes that are found in other turtle species. Their skin is primarily dark gray to black with white or pinkish spots. Leatherback sea turtles are found in oceans worldwide, from the Arctic to the Antarctic. They have an extensive range and are highly migratory. They are known to travel long distances and are often found in cold waters. Leatherback sea turtles are primarily jellyfish eaters. They have specialized adaptations, including sharp pillay in their throat, which help them grasp and consume jellyfish prey. They also feed on other soft-bodied organisms like salps and tunicates. These turtles are known for their deep dives and long-distance migrations. They can dive to great depths, sometimes reaching over 4,000 feet, in search of prey. The leatherback sea turtle is the largest and one of the most distinctive species of sea turtles. It is known for its unique physical characteristics, habitat, and behavior. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the leatherback sea turtle. Leatherback sea turtles are the largest of all sea turtle species. They can reach lengths of up to 7 feet and weigh as much as 2,000 pounds. Their size and weight can vary, but they are significantly larger than other sea turtle species. These turtles are easily recognizable by their leathery, rubbery skin, which sets them apart from other sea turtles with hard, bony shells. They lack the traditional bony plates known as scutes that are found in other turtle species. Their skin is primarily dark gray to black with white or pinkish spots. Leatherback sea turtles are found in oceans worldwide, from the Arctic to the Antarctic. They have an extensive range and are highly migratory. They are known to travel long distances and are often found in cold waters. Leatherback sea turtles are primarily jellyfish eaters. They have specialized adaptations, including sharp pillay in their throat, which help them grasp and consume jellyfish prey. They also feed on other soft-bodied organisms like salps and tunicates. 
These turtles are known for their deep dives and long-distance migrations. They can dive to great depths, sometimes reaching over 4,000 feet, in search of prey. The bearded dragon, scientifically known as Pogoda, is a group of lizard species native to Australia. Among these species, the most commonly kept and recognized in the pet trade is the inland bearded dragon. Bearded dragons are popular reptile pets due to their manageable size, docile nature, and captivating appearance. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the bearded dragon. Bearded dragons have a distinct appearance characterized by their flattened, triangular-shaped head and a beard of specky scales under their chin. This beard can be expanded and darkened when the lizard is stressed or feels threatened. They come in various colors and patterns, including shades of brown, tan yellow, and red. Adult bearded dragons typically reach lengths of 18 to 24 inches, with males generally being larger than females. Bearded dragons are native to arid and semi-arid regions of Australia, where they inhabit woodlands, the deserts, and scrublands. They are often found in open, sunny areas. Bearded dragons are omnivorous, meaning they eat both plant matter and small prey. In the wild, their diet includes insects, spiders, and a variety of vegetation, such as leaves, flowers, and fruits. Bearded dragons are known for their relatively calm and gentle demeanor, which makes them suitable pets for reptile enthusiasts. They are diurnal, meaning they are active during the day, and they enjoy basking in the sun. When handled and cared for properly, they can become quite tame and may even tolerate gentle interaction. Bearded dragons reproduce through sexual reproduction. Mating typically occurs in the spring and early summer, followed by egg laying by females. The eggs are buried in sandy soil, and after an incubation period of several weeks, the hatchlings emerge. In their natural habitat, bearded dragons are not considered endangered, but they face habitat loss due to urbanization and land development. They are also collected for the pet trade, which can impact wild populations. Responsible captive breeding and proper care of pet bearded dragons are essential to reduce the demand for wild-caught individuals. Bearded dragons are among the most popular reptile pets due to their docile nature and manageable size. However, potential owners should be aware of their specific care requirements which include providing a suitable enclosure with proper lighting, heating, and a balanced diet. Bearded dragons are often cherished by reptile enthusiasts for their captivating appearance and relatively easy to maintain care requirements. Proper husbandry, including providing a well-maintained habitat and a balanced diet, is crucial to ensure the health and well-being of these popular pet reptiles. The king cobra is a highly venomous snake species, known for its impressive size and potent venom. It is one of the largest venomous snakes in the world and is native to parts of Southeast Asia and the Indian subcontinent. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the king cobra. King cobras are renowned for their size. Adult individuals can reach lengths of up to 18 feet or more, although the average length is around 10 to 13 feet. They are significantly larger than most other cobra species. King cobras are easily identifiable by their distinctive appearance. They have a relatively slender body, a large head with prominent scales on the top, and an expandable hood. Their coloration varies but is often olive green to brown with black bands and a pale, yellowish underside. These snakes are found in a range of habitats, including rainforests, forests, grasslands, and agricultural areas. They are often associated with water sources, such as rivers and swamps, and are good swimmers. King cobras are carnivorous and primarily feed on other snakes, including venomous and non-venomous species. They are also known to eat lizards, birds, and small mammals. They are skilled hunters and are capable of overpowering and consuming large prey. King cobras are known for their relatively calm disposition compared to some other venomous snakes. However, they can be highly aggressive when threatened. When threatened, they may raise their heads, flare their hoods, and emit a hissing sound as a warning display. The venom of the king cobra is extremely potent and contains neurotoxins that affect the nervous system. A single bite can deliver a large amount of venom, and if not treated promptly, it can be fatal to humans. Despite their reputation, king cobras typically prefer to avoid confrontation with humans, and will often retreat if given the opportunity. King cobras are oviparous, meaning they lay eggs. Mating typically occurs during the rainy season, and females lay a clutch of eggs in hidden locations, such as leaf litter or burrows. The female guards the eggs until they hatch, after which the hatchlings are independent. The king cobra is listed as a vulnerable species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Due to habitat loss, habitat degradation, and the illegal pet trade, in many countries, it is protected by law, and efforts are underway to conserve their populations and protect their natural habitats. King cobras hold cultural significance in many parts of their range, and are often revered and even worshipped in some cultures. They appear in folklore, mythology, and traditional ceremonies in various Asian countries. The king cobra is an awe-inspiring and iconic snake, known for its combination of size, strength, and potent venom. 
It plays an important role in its ecosystems by helping to control populations of other snakes and small mammals. However, due to its potential danger to humans and its conservation status, it is important to approach king cobras with caution and respect in their natural habitat. The Burmese python is a large constrictor snake native to Southeast Asia, including countries like Myanmar, Thailand, Vietnam, and other parts of the region. It is one of the largest snake species in the world and has become well known in recent years. Due to its invasive presence in various parts of the United States, here are some key characteristics and facts about the Burmese python. Burmese pythons are among the largest snake species on Earth. Adult individuals can reach lengths of up to 20 feet or more, although the average size is typically between 10 to 16 feet. They have a robust muscular body with a distinct pattern of dark, irregular blotches on a lighter background color. Their head is triangular and relatively large with heat-sensing pits on their upper and lower jaws which help them locate warm-blooded prey. In their native range, Burmese pythons inhabit a variety of environments, including tropical forests, grasslands, and marshes. They are excellent swimmers and can often be found near water. These snakes are carnivorous and primarily feed on mammals, birds, and occasionally reptiles. They are constrictors, meaning they coil around their prey and squeeze it to death before swallowing it whole. Burmese pythons are typically solitary animals. They are mostly active at night, but can be active during the day in cooler weather. They are known for their relatively calm temperament compared to some other large constrictor species. They reproduce through sexual reproduction. Mating typically occurs during the winter, and females lay clutches of eggs, which are incubated by the female. After hatching, the young snakes are independent and receive no parental care. Burmese pythons have become a significant invasive species in parts of the United States, particularly in the state of Florida. These snakes were introduced to the region through the pet trade, and some escaped or were released into the wild. In Florida, they have established breeding populations and have had a detrimental impact on native wildlife, including birds, mammals, and reptiles. In their native range, Burmese pythons are not considered endangered, but they face habitat loss in hunting for their skins and meat. In the United States, efforts are underway to manage and control their invasive populations. Due to their potential impact on local ecosystems and wildlife, the import and ownership of Burmese pythons and other large constrictor snakes are regulated in some regions, including certain United States. The Burmese pythons' invasive presence in Florida has raised concerns about its impact on the local ecosystem and has led to efforts to control and manage its population. Their large size and adaptability make them a challenging invasive species to deal with. Chameleons are a distinctive group of reptiles known for their unique characteristics, including their ability to change color, independently mobilize, and specialized tongue for capturing prey. They belong to the family Chameleonidae and are primarily found in Africa, Madagascar, Southern Europe, and parts of Asia. Here are some key characteristics and facts about chameleons. Chameleons are famous for their ability to change color, but it's important to note that they don't change color to match their surroundings. Instead, they change color in response to various factors, including mood, temperature, light, and social interactions. The color change is achieved through the expansion or contraction of specialized pigment containing cells in their skin. Chameleons have a distinctive appearance with a laterally compressed body, a long tail, and specialized feet. They have five toes on each foot, which are grouped into two opposing pinchers on each side. These feet are adapted for grasping branches and climbing. Their independently mobile eyes can rotate and focus on different objects simultaneously, providing excellent 360-degree vision. Chameleons are primarily arboreal reptiles. Although some species are found in bushes and low vegetation, they are often associated with tropical and subtropical forests, but they inhabit a variety of environments, including deserts and savannas. Chameleons are primarily insectivorous, feeding on a diet of insects, spiders, and other small invertebrates. Some larger species may also eat small vertebrates, such as birds or other lizards. Their long, sticky tongue can extend rapidly to capture prey from a distance. Chameleons are generally solitary and territorial animals. They are known for their slow and deliberate movements, which help them remain inconspicuous to potential predators and prey. When threatened, they may inflate their body and open their mouth to appear larger, and some species may hiss or make other vocalizations. Chameleons reproduce through sexual reproduction. Mating rituals can be complex, involving colorful displays and courtship behaviors. Females lay eggs, typically in burrows or concealed locations. The number of eggs and incubation time vary among species. Many species of chameleons face threats due to habitat destruction, collection for the pet trade, and climate change. Some are listed as vulnerable or endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Conservation efforts are in place to protect their habitats and populations. Chameleons are sometimes kept as exotic pets, but they require specialized care, including appropriate enclosures, humidity levels, lighting, and diet. 
Prospective chameleon owners should thoroughly research the specific needs of the species they plan to keep. Chameleons are fascinating creatures known for their remarkable adaptations and unique behaviors. Their ability to change color and their specialized vision make them a subject of interest in both scientific research and the pet trade. However, due to their specific care requirements, they are best suited for experienced reptile keepers who can provide the necessary care and attention to these captivating reptiles. The Galapagos giant tortoise is a remarkable and iconic species of tortoise that is native to the Galapagos Islands, an archipelago in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Ecuador. These tortoises are famous for their enormous size, long lifespans, and the role they played in Charles Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection. Here are some key characteristics and facts about the Galapagos giant tortoise. Galapagos giant tortoises are among the largest tortoise species in the world. They can weigh up to 900 pounds and have a shell length of over 4 feet. They have a distinctive dumb-shaped shell that varies in color and shape depending on the specific island and habitat they inhabit. The shape of their shells has evolved to suit the available vegetation and environment on each island. These tortoises are found on various islands within the Galapagos Archipelago, each with its own unique environment and vegetation. They inhabit a range of ecosystems from arid lowlands to lush highlands. Galapagos giant tortoises are herbivorous and primarily feed on vegetation, including grasses, cacti, leaves, and fruits. They are known to travel long distances in search of food and water. These tortoises are known for their remarkable lifespan. They can live well over 100 years with some individuals reaching 150 years or more. Their slow growth rate and longevity have contributed to their ability to shape the ecosystems of the Galapagos Islands. Many species of Galapagos giant tortoises were driven to the brink of extinction due to centuries of exploitation by wilders and early settlers, who used them as a source of food and oil. Conservation efforts have been in place for several decades to protect and restore their populations, including breeding programs and habitat restoration. Galapagos giant tortoises played a crucial role in Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. Their variations in shell shape and size among different islands provided valuable evidence for natural selection. As Darwin observed that tortoises on different islands had adaptations that suited their specific habitats, each island within the Galapagos archipelago is home to a distinct species or subspecies of giant tortoise. The variations among these tortoises are a classic example of island endemism, where species adapt and evolve to fit the unique conditions of their respective islands. The Galapagos Islands are a popular tourist destination, and visitors often have the opportunity to observe these giant tortoises in their natural habitats. Strict conservation measures are in place to protect the fragile ecosystems of the islands. Galapagos giant tortoises are a symbol of both the unique biodiversity of the Galapagos Islands and the importance of conservation efforts to preserve these iconic reptiles and the ecosystems they inhabit. Their role in the development of evolutionary theory makes them a symbol of scientific discovery as well.